I am a child of God and he has sent me here. That's the first line of the hymn that we sang. I have no doubt that God sent you all here and I want to thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. Mayor, it's good to be with you this morning. Uh, it's great to be with all of you. You know, yesterday afternoon I had an opportunity to visit the shelter here in Baton Rouge at the River Center. And many of those people have been out of their homes since the very first night of the flooding. And it, it's normally at about this time when they start to get really, really anxious, impatient, uh, and, and they're ready for something better. But I will tell you, I spoke to dozens of people yesterday, all of whom remain very grateful for the assistance that they are receiving. Uh, and I know that you all are going to find very thankful people out there today as well. And I want to tell you that I thank you. Uh, it's at times like this when communities come together, but not just a community from here in Baton Rouge. And although we do have a number of folks from Baton Rouge and Louisiana here, I know that we've got folks who've traveled hundreds of miles to be here uh, this weekend to help. And what is so impressive about that is, unlike some other storms that have hit Louisiana or elsewhere in the country, this is not a storm that we watched form in the Atlantic and come into the Gulf. It wasn't tracked for days before landfall. We didn't have meteorologists and reporters standing out with live uh, news feeds in, in wind and rain and, and drawing the nation's attention to this. This was an unnamed storm. It wasn't a hurricane, it wasn't a tropical storm. And so the nation really hasn't paid attention the way that it normally would have, but you have. And the reason that's important is because while this is not a named storm, every victim has a name. And they are our brothers and our sisters. They are our brothers and sisters in Christ. So thank you for being here. And let me tell you, what you're going to do make, it will make a tremendous difference. I was saying before we came out here that we're going to do everything we can to access the help that's available from the federal government, from the state government, from local government for these individuals. But we really don't have programs designed to make people whole if they didn't have insurance. <laughs> Less than 20% of the people who've been affected by the storm had their houses damaged will have flood insurance. And one of the programs we're standing up, it'll, it'll be in place tomorrow, is to go into people's homes and if we can make it safe, secure, and habitable for $15,000, we're gonna do that. But your help will go a long way because if you go in there and you, on a volunteer basis, help us get that house part way where it needs to go, then that $15,000 will go further. And there are many, many more people who will be able to benefit from that program. And so I just wanna thank you. This is, this is an example of the partnership that we all need uh, to facilitate going forward between state, local government, federal government, but also the faith-based community. I will tell you the faith-based community has been excellent. All dom denominations, you know, when Mayor Holden and I try to do things, there's always strings attached. There's always a bureaucracy that you have to work through to try to make sure that you're spending money legally and that you can account for all of it. And so we move slowly. And we're trying to speed it up as fast as we can, but it is always slower than the speed with which you respond. You can do things so much faster. And because you can be there faster in term, in, when people are in need, you're doing things better as well. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you all for being here. I want to ask you to please remain safe. It's, uh, it, weather may be a little better today, but that means it's going to be hotter too. <laughs> so, so make sure you're drinking plenty of fluid. And if there's anything that the governor's office can do while you all are here, please don't hesitate uh, to call on us. And not just as it relates to this event, but going forward, if there's ever anything that I can do as governor uh, for you all, please uh, don't hesitate to call on me. So God bless you again. I just want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for being here, for all the help that you're about to unleash across Baton Rouge and South Louisiana. Uh, so, so thank you. Uh, God bless. Stay safe.